Hey guys, I'm Juan Pompeo here, and today we're going to talk about why you shouldn't read a book a day. Let's get to it. So, hey, my name is Moan Pompeo, and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me sharing and documenting my journey in business. I've been involved in more than 10 businesses over the last few years, and I'm here to share with you that there's a different way to grow a business or to even start in the space of businesses in general. I'm here to show you that you can buy an existing business and you can grow your existing business by buying other companies. And that's the fastest way to go to grow your business that I know. I'm here to share and document things that worked for me, things that didn't work, some of the lessons, my mistakes. And yeah, see the links in the description below for a, a, all the free value. We have free groups, free email lists, free ways for you to send questions. Just see the link in the description below. Now, today I want to talk about why you shouldn't read a book a day, in my opinion. Now, many people out there will tell you, hey, you should read a book a day. You should go out there and learn as much as possible. Get yourself into as many learning environment as you can and just learn a little bit from so many people. In my opinion, it's wrong and it's going to actually hurt you because you are going to learn so little of too many people and eventually your mind is just going to be too overwhelmed. You're going to learn a little bit from that one, a little bit from that one. And you're always going to, it's like starting a new business every day in a different subject and trying to combine all of them into one puzzle. I think it's just too much and people might tell you, hey, it's okay, just learn as much as possible and then try to have your own map. And I think maybe at some level it's okay to learn from many people and just take one simple idea from all of them. But for most people who watch this channel, who I guess are not yet focused, I'm talking, let's say you have a business doing more than eight figures a year, then you're in a different environment because you already have good fundamentals. But if you're not at that level, if you only if you don't have a business this or, or yet, or if you only have a like a seven-figure business, in my opinion, your best way to grow is to focus on just few simple books or few simple or few mentors at a time and just really study them as much as possible and really master those topics to like like literally the best levels that you can. Because Again, if you're going to learn from too many people, you're going to be too overwhelmed. And then what happens with most people is that just they're not taking action and then moving forward. So, yeah, remember, guys, it's rather that you read less books, but actually implement more. It's like you can't go and learn from someone who is overweight and how to get in shape. And then I don't care how many books of that guy you're going to read and how many of his strategies you're going to implement. You just want to get his result. So find someone who got the results that you want and get in touch with all of his content, his books, his videos, ideally get his one-on-one -on -one support. If it's me and my team, great, and you want to buy businesses or grow your existing businesses by acquisitions, I know that we are the best to help you with that. But it's, if it's something else, then go and find that person and learn from less people, but implement more and execute more, and ideally have some kind of accountability and the support to adjust your, your, I guess, your actions while you're moving forward. Because unless you have adjustments of your actions, I see people who try to follow this process of buying businesses for many, many months or years and they don't make any progress. And it's because most of the time they don't have the accountability, they don't have the support, they are overwhelmed with reading too many books and I guess trying too many things at the same time. So those are my thoughts, those are I guess my suggestions to you. Remember it's about reading less but implementing more and taking more action and then I guess if you have more free time just like 30 minutes a day and you just want to, uh, I guess, see books as the time of you getting entertainment or just, I guess, forgetting about work, then it's all good to maybe just go through a few books and just skim through them just for fun. But don't, I guess, mistake you learning from books as you taking action and moving forward because in the end of the day, especially nowadays, guys, information is not enough anymore. It's about execution and results. It's about the fruits that you can show up for. And that's that's what we're here for in this channel. That's what I'm here for, to share my knowledge and document my journey. And yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, other people might tell you, hey, go and read as many books as possible and try to implement all of those different things from different people. I don't think it worked. I tried it. It just didn't work for me. I, I found out that the, the less people I learn from, but the more I implement those things again and again, that's how I get successful. Um, so yeah, that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See the links for the, uh, the links in the description below or basically just go to moanpober.com forward slash quiz and you can click there based on where you're at in life and business and based on that you're going to 
get to the next steps. We have free groups, free, uh, I guess, links where you, we can send you to so you can submit your questions and just get in touch and get a lot of other free value. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you didn't yet. It's going to really help me. Like the video if you didn't yet. And comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree with me. Do you think that you need to read more books? Or do you think that you just rather read less books but implement more? What do you think is going to bring you more results and success? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and yeah, I, I'll get back to you on this and I'll, I'll see. I'll tell you what I think. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.